I'm sure that gets locked right away, isn't it? You will not regret this. No? We can seize that with this. Um, how do I manage my profit after that though? We manage it with a seize through that after that. How many takes we got? One. Five tags. Armor's a problem. Maybe just go for it. That's it. Savola short round for the win. Yeah, and we just go for... Oh, they did it now. Oh, should I? Yeah, we'll give this one click too, right? Um, that way maybe? Such a big swing. What's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, I've put together an off the books deck utilizing the new syndicate cards because now they're fixed and they're working. So it's a collusion deck running this special crime in it. The leader ability that we're utilizing is off the books. The order is gain two coins and we have four charges. Attributes cost one coin less as well with this leader. So we do have a number of uh, cards which have that tribute uh, ability, I guess you could say. With the leader, what we're looking to do is for the most part, reserve it for Siggy Reuven Mastermind. Also, it's a good idea to save leader for Zavola and you can kind of use leader to help with morel's tribute as well the stratagem that we're utilizing is crystal skull boost an allied unit by four give it fail we can use crystal skull on the following cards could be eternal fire disciple and maybe even bart when we go first if you want to use it on this card uh Perhaps Shady Vendor creates a spender for you and you can give Crystal Skull to that. 
that's kind of the general idea for the stratagem. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So to begin with, we have two Fire Disciples. Prophet 2, B1, spawn a Fire Swan Zealot in this row, cooldown 1. I like to use one of these copies round 1. It's just a nice engine and a good effective spender for us. So we can save one round one and then save the other one later when we're playing Siggy Reuven Mastermind because we'll need more gang categories at that time. Uh, we have a Mutants Maker. This is a Devotion deck, so this card's pretty nice. Destroy an allied unit, then gain three coins. That's if this was non-Devotion, but because we're Devotion, we get to gain three coins instead. Mutants Maker, you can use these round one to help with gaining profit and they're not bad later on as well because it's got the salamandra and fire sworn gang category tags so for the most part like pretty much the bottom half of this deck we're trying to use that to win um round one and get round control then we've got sea jackal another gang category uh tide cloaks fee two boost self by two horde seven boost self by three instead so Sea Jackal is just nice because we're going to be gaining a lot of profit and this can just help to manage our pouch effectively. Obviously, if we have a full pouch, we don't really want to be playing cards that give us profit because we're over profiting, we're wasting coins. So you can take one Sea Jackal with you round one and leave the other for round two or three. Shady Vendor. Good synergy with Leader because it has a tribute aspect to it. Profit one. Uh, so if we play this melee row, create and play a bronze four provision crime. Tribute five ranged, create and play a bronze five provision crime. I like to use one shady vendor when going first in round one. And typically I'll play it offensively on the melee row. And what I like about this is it can help us generate profit right through the different crime cards that you select through the random selected options. Um, so go for that. Or you can create another spender if you're missing one um, playing this on the melee row. So Shady Vendor is also nice in our deck because it can help put extra gang category tags on the board for us, okay? Through the units we may be able to create in some cases with this. So nice to play later with Siggy Ruben, Mastermind. And good for round one. Casino Bouncers. This is to give our deck consistency because it thins the deck. Insanity, if we don't have enough coins to pay the fee, this card will damage itself by one and you still get to summon the other copy from deck. We want to play Casino Bouncers round one. You always want to do your thinning and consistency with your deck round one as early as possible. Um, ensure that you keep the other copy of this card in your deck at all times. Little Bird. This card can be very good in the value it provides um it's conditional so the deployers infuse self with a gang category of a unit in your deck so when you play this it just lets you look at all those um different tags you got you could just select one fee two boost an allied unit by one for each unique gang category you control so the idea with this card little bird it's got a cooldown of one by the way uh, what I like to do is take this when we're playing Siggy Reuven Mastermind. And pretty much what we want to do is generate as many gang categories on possible as possible on the board at that time. Try to have as many as you can. And then when we play this for the fee, it could it could play for some really good value, right? According to how many gang categories we have. So do infuse this card with something you don't have on the board at that time. So a nice spender. Salamandra Mage Tribute works pretty good with this deck and the leader. Damage 3 adjacent enemy units by 2. Whenever you pay a tribute ability, gain 1 coin. Adrenaline 5, gain 2 coins instead. So before we start committing um, the majority of our tributes, maybe you want to play this early in the round before you play the other tribute kinds of cards and play it cr closer to Adrenaline because we're getting more profit that way. Salamandra Mages are pretty good round one to help get round control because it's a nice tempo play, right? And let's say you save one round one and the other round two or three. 
pulling the strings one of the new cards profit zero seize an enemy unit with zero or less power increase profit by one for each unique gang category in your starting deck increase the power and decrease the profit by one for each unique gang category you control like on the board at that time so i've got all the different gang categories in this deck so look at pulling the strings as a way for us to get coin right have profit to activate our cards we're going to be getting profit six from this that's what it plays for and it can work as a con control card as well because it's seizing so it's really dependent on it's going to work dependent upon how your board's looking okay so we can use one pulling the strings round one and save the other around two or three then we've got tunnel drill in this deck profit two fee two damage an enemy by one if you played a crime this turn damage an enemy unit by three instead really effective spender if we if we met this condition here now i'm going to say it now this is not my idea to use siggy riven mastermind to pull tunnel drill which is what we're looking to do um i came across someone on the ladder who actually did this against me i thought it was a great idea so i've incorporated their idea into this so props to them so basically the idea is that we want to do a big one turn swing with tunnel drill through the use of siggy riven mastermind so we're going to go over this card right now since we're talking about tunnel drill so what this card does is look at collusion and a random card from each gang from your deck then play one tribute nine play two instead so what we want to do when we play siggy riven mastermind is hit that tribute and we can use leader to help with that we want to hit the tribute to play collusion and to play tunnel drill through this card so what we want to do is always keep tunnel drill in our deck at all times and collusion in our deck at all times um bear in mind tribute costs two less for each unique gang category you control now these cards are kind of new to me i'm trying to understand and learn them too so i think what this refers to is actually siggy riven masterminds tribute that you see here um, we could pay a lot less if we have many gang categories on the board at that time with collusion the way it works if you control a unit with the following gang categories blind eyes we get all these different effects um played out at that time okay so because of the way collusion works what we want to do is ensure that we have all of those different gang categories on the board um at that time before hitting siggy riven mastermind so collusion gets max value okay so that's the idea siggy riven mastermind big point swing play i really think this is reserved as kind of a closing play at the end of the match like second last play third last around there maybe even last play of the match and what's going to happen is that when we deploy this play, play that tribute out we select um tunnel drill we will definitely get to see tunnel drill because it's the only crown splitter in this deck even though it says look at a random card from each gang category okay so that's why the deck's constructed like this so you're going to click tunnel drill you're going to click collusion what happens is tunnel drill gets played first then we play collusion that's a crime card so tunnel drill can do a ton of damage and you can utilize that profit immediately and what we're looking to do with tunnel drill at that time is just board wipe the opponent's side of the board so maybe you want to kind of time the this siggy river mastermind play for when your opponent has some strong engines or good order ability units just do it then and get that huge point swing out and just be aware um tunnel drill doesn't have much protection we're just looking to one time tunnel drill okay just for this play so that's the idea i hope that's not too complicated to understand <laughs> it took me a bit of time to figure these cards out and how to play them right as well um then we've got but so this is a really effective way to gain a lot of profit whenever you play a unit with a gang category you don't control gain a coin for each gang category you control so this is like a profit multiplier we can play this round one if it looks like you're having a hard time to gain profit somehow but i think it's really best reserved for later when we're playing siggy river mastermind and all of the different gang categories because it's just going to give us a lot of coin and we can use that in many different ways 
Got Morels here. We're looking to play this for the tribute. This is our tall punish option in this deck. Allows you to destroy a unit when we pay that tribute cost. Um, best save later round two or three, I believe. Savola, Prophet two, Tribute nine. Spawn Savola's Frightener in this row. It's that token unit. So Savola gives us the point slam to balance this deck out and what it can do. This could give you the ability to maybe bleed round two, uh, resist a bleed, um, short round three potential for our deck, or just a final play at the end of the match. Definitely don't want to use it round one. So collusion we've covered. Always keep this in your deck at all times because we're looking to use Siggy Riven Mastermind to specifically play this. Okay, so we've got a few bricks to look out for in this deck. It might be a bit of a weakness of this deck that sometimes you may brick some cards hoping not to vivaldi bank gives you three coin on with profit three there look at the top card from your deck plus an additional card for every coin you possess play the top card for free or play another card for a coin cost equal to its distance from the top shuffle the remaining cards back into your deck um it may make sense to play this at the very end of the match because by the end of the match, we're going to do a lot of thinning through Sigi Riven Mastermind. Probably getting uh, KOB out from deck. And then it's going to be easier to know what we're going to pull into this. But otherwise, just use it as you need to to maybe search for some cards that are going to give you profit, some spenders or whatnot throughout the match. And then into the control aspect of this deck, we got Philippa. I've gone for some more control with Philippa and Horsun Jr. I mean, you could kind of alter our control options and add in jacks. That's probably not a bad option too, but it's up to you. You make the build as you like. So, Philippa, spend a number of coins equal to an M unit's power, then seize it. I just wanted to give us a control emphasis with this deck, really. That's why I went for a Philippa. Um, yeah, a very powerful spender. You can use this to seize the opponent's defender unit. Um, maybe it helps you against Reavers right now use it as you need to with any of these kind of um gold control options like we could use one of them round one to help get round control and i think horse on junior right now is really good to counter reavers that's why i went with this actually um i went with this as a tech against reavers so the deploy damage a boosted enemy unit by six gain a coin for every point of excess damage dealt devotion damage an enemy unit instead so that's what we can do we can damage anything at six strength and fee three destroy an enemy unit with three power or less so this fee ability is what will help us counter reavers um if we do come up in a reaver matchup okay so yeah use this card wisely king of beggars we always want to leave this in our deck at all times yeah fee one boost off by one so it's a spender while in deck, whenever you pay a tribute, remove a counter for each coin paid. For each remove counter, gain one coin back. When the counter reaches zero, zero summon self from the deck to a random allied row. Counter 12. So we've got a lot of tribute um, paying cards in this deck, which will reduce this counter. And when they're all used up, we just have an effective spender through KOB. Um, KOB is good in a deck like this because it just refunds our coins so we got more profit to use throughout a match so just be careful not to brick it and yeah we covered siggy river mastermind just use this it would either be around two or three play and don't use it until your your sure collusion or tunnel drill is in your deck but you know you got to work according to what may happen during the match so just look for a different option if one of if tunnel drill gets bricked go for a different unit Okay, so now that I've covered the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. We have a fairly good control emphasis with this list. I mean, depending on the list you're versing, that will determine which way you want to take the match. You can bleed into round two if you like with some of our cards, but for the most part, go along round three. And what we can do to get round control round one would be just to rely on the bottom half of this deck for the most part. So around one, you can play Fire Disciple, Mutants Maker, Sea Jackal, Shady Vendor, Casino Bouncer, uh, Mage, one pulling the strings. You could play Bart if you've got a bit of hard time getting profit. 
uh vivaldi bank and maybe like one control option like Corson jr philippa morels should be enough to get you around control um like i said if you want to bleed into round two you, you probably could with savola if you want to do like a high tempo play and bleed a bit if not go along round three over along round three we just want to establish getting some profit first so play whatever cards that you haven't which give you profit once again like bart mutants maker as openers play shady vendor melee row maybe to get some more gang category tags on the board we want to play a little bird um the other pulling the strings you've got your control to consider like Horsun, philippa whatever of these you didn't use and then once we have as many gang categories on the board as possible that's when we want to play siggy riven mastermind and hit collusion just timing collusion well to get max value out of it having all those gang categories down and that's when we want to get tunnel drill out collusion and we just want to board wipe the opponent like one time huge tunnel drill swing and then you know just use your leader charge remaining profit to work into your other tribute cards like savola as a final say at the end of the match so hope you have fun watching the following matches and thank you for your time and support They seem to be okay. Hey, put one of those away. Not bad. So, investing in a simulate deck. What kind exactly? They got Calvate. Soldiers assimilate, is it? Tremble before the light of the great sun. By denying penance, you confirm your guilt. Unfortunately, transformation robs them of speech. <laughs> Just gotta make sure we time our unit well before it gets damaged by this. <laughs> Hit this. Very well be the deal of a lifetime. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess we could go that. Yes, you. Have you made your offer? Yo, what's up, B? How are you? Nice to see you. I'm trying out the new syndic syndicate cards today. Sup, Sasquatch? How's things? I'm trying to figure out these new cards. Maybe it was passing on even. They could play into it if they want. Just trying to work around that. I think it's going to be a bit hard if I play into it now. Yeah, they're fixed now. Thank you. Likewise. Goes for the thinning. Cool. So we didn't see Calvate from them. Some kind of an assimilate uh, soldier hybrid deck. I didn't get a chance to thin. We could do it now. May wish to keep that too. We have just about everything we need. It would just be this we're searching for, you know, as a key card to find. This may help with managing profit now too. Let me keep it. Yo, what's up, friends? Yeah, testing them out. Okay, it's a Renfrey deck. Oh. We can just start off with a thin. Yo, what's good? Nice to see you. 
Yes, good day. <laughs> nice to see all you positive people here. Let's learn how to play these new cards together. They're gonna pass? Maybe they will. No? Plays into it? Vilgefortz? What? Quite the meaningful task. Best commodity in town. Swear it. Wow. I don't know. I think it's a bit of a, a waste of control, isn't it? Jeez, man. Uh, this give me profit six, is it? Oh, it's reduced because I have these down. Okay, right. So, yeah. I mean, that gives us a good setup here now. Let's be on 11. I mean, we can just hit this as well. Salamandra has no fear of fire. Nice. Yo, what's up, Shimmer? How are you? What's good, Ibra? Playing some Syndicate today. New cards seem very interesting. So I'm really excited to play this with you all. Got a few bricks we're going to look out for um, in this deck. Collusion's actually one of them. That's another one of them. Okay. After I thin out KOB, we search for this maybe. Try to play it. So, I think it makes sense to open up with Bart, isn't it? Yeah, let's get Ash. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I heard it's fixed, that's why I'm trying it. So, they have another lock in hand. What's the biggest threat from our hand that they're going to use like this, maybe? I think it'll be on, on this side. Play that. Perhaps a different An active one. You saw a couple of my videos on YouTube? Cool. Thanks for supporting me there. Appreciate it. So we know something's just going to get locked right up. Uh, this may get locked. That will get locked. <laughs> A lot of different things are going to get locked, I think. Potentially even that too. Um, may hit this while we have it. I'm going to try to get rid of this um, ASAP. Just because of their leader. Just thinking when to play it. It's, I think it's going to come up soon for me. We can play Little Bird. What don't we have here? So we got Fire, Swan, Salamander. We got that coming up. Maybe just holding it. Let's 
see what they do. Maybe they lock that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try dig for it, man. I'm gonna try get Siggy out to do that. That's the idea. Well, I'm not wasting coin really. So they're gonna go, um. They're gonna go Triss, hey, because they're row stacking. So maybe it's good to even count attack that. So they could get for morels now. They could be leaving uh Siggy last. Maybe final play? Should it be? Yo, what's up, Kev? <laughs> I'm gonna put him to the test, brother. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun testing them off stream. They're really interesting. I like it. Pretty cool cards. This build that I've gone for has got more of a control emphasis. Got Philippa, Horson, Morels, Tunnel Drill. Yep. Slave Infantry. Tribute five. Nothing turns my guts more than a filthy mate. Just get rid of that. Maybe I should have played this first. So we got Fire Sworn, Salamander, Cut Ops. Crown splitter. What am I missing? This. How to get the Gwent partner card? Um, you gotta contact CDPR and become a Gwent partner, and then they equip you with it. Your account. Right. Tribute four. <sighs> Feels a bit bad of like what am I doing with Philippa man? <laughs> uh that spell in I think we do it like this. Maybe we just seize? Season, <laughs> season two or three. Hey, what's up, Bill? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just kind of figuring it out with you all while I'm playing this. So yeah, I'm kind of learning. Okay. Um, so what's it need? That's Grace 8. Oh. No It's a bit weak, isn't it? Can they use that? Uh, it's 
So it's going to give me profit three. Six. Should I wait one more turn before I hit it? Maybe you want to do it like that for the collusion value. I think I'll do it now, maybe. Or are they going to triss? Um, when are they going to do triss? Okay, hold on a sec. One, two, three. Four is it? I've remove his cow, then his ears. Uh, I think we just we're seizing the uh the two pad unit. Yo, what's up, Shu? How are you? Yeah, okay. We we still have an option, I think. We got this. Uh, what's left? One coin. Nice, looks good to me. Wow, okay. That felt fun, man. <laughs> oh, that's a good win. Okay, 20, 20 point win. Another one. Try to repeat what we did, except better, if possible. The eternal fire the eternal fire protects. Is that another rent free one? <laughs> the realm of the living settles your chain, abandon now your mortal stain. That's interesting. They gave it bleeding then. Then his ears. Yeah, you heard him. Unfortunately, transformation robs them of speech. <laughs> okay. I want to go that way. By denying penance, you confirm your guilt. Well, we've not had enough. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe because of how my hand is. Or if I didn't spend there, I could have played this early. Oh, it's gang. This tribute four, right? Yep. Best not play with fire. You, yes, you have you made your offering? Yeah, start off with something like that. Fast one, cultus. <laughs> Rune Mage, man. I see him in like every deck these days. Yeah, they're pretty cool, eh? <laughs> There's some funny ones to imitate. Okay, they're going with the Frost. That's interesting. Are you cold, human insect? It won't be long. Really?
Got another one? You fear me. I sense it. I smell it. That one! He venerates not the fire! That should give me final say. Not yet. Still? Oh my goodness. Still going, eh? They really want to... Um, final say. Can I get like this? What's the fee for that? You are worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness. You can use this. Not sure to watch us yet, but maybe like this. <sighs> really? <laughs> Alright man, I like this hand too much. <laughs> You take it, dude. Take it. Make them cry. <laughs> oh, they just did it. Open up the shoop options. He's great with shoop. Yeah, we got a freaking mad hand here. Um, to like go profit and steal something right away. Okay. So we're gonna use this. Isn't it? I don't feel like tossing the others. They're really good cards. I guess that makes sense. Fancy a game of Kaviri <laughs> You're probably right. Um I mean, it makes sense depending on your strategy. How important it is, is final say to your deck and all that. Oh, pretty good hands, I think. Yeah, this is everything we need. For the most part, I think I'm leaving it like this. Should be bot to open up with. Yeah, depends on the deck. I think we just go for a seize first, maybe with Philippa. Like, let them play some kind of a good engine. What have they got so far? We haven't seen Fletter. get profit Necrot I mean that's not bad to steal either is it that it offers them a lot of synergy too becomes an engine for me and then if they do have Flitter and they're doing something, it's probably going to be the target for this anyway. They'll save Regis uh, Reborn. I'm quite sure. I'll never be imprisoned again. This isn't a gang category. It's just human mage. I'll do what I can. 
<laughs> Let's get zero. Pleased to see you, my friend. So he's still a KOB in there. Um, for a few coins. So I'll try and get some more gang categories down now. Swindle, line of credit. Just go for that. You, yes, you have you made your offering? That's probably more else. Blind eyes. Am I spending here? they were going for yeah it's gonna be Regis Reborn finisher and what's the other one when do you play unit Should be getting this down. I only loot corpses, except sometimes they're quite fresh. Thanks very much for the T1 sub. Really appreciate it. Kitty Raw. <laughs> nice name. Whoa. Oh! Discarded Yurden! Crap! Uh, what's my trip? Mm, back here? You will not stand in the way of my master's plans. I won't let you. So can I still hit the tribute on him? Oh crap. Wow, and that? Oh. Let's get this over with. Hold on, what? Two less. Four less. Six. Am I getting this right? Two, four, six. I think I have enough, right? Tribute eight. Of 
Yes! Woo! My god, man. Whoa! Yes! Let's see what they're playing with Collar. So we can't really play this out then. Just gets locked. Unless I wait very late. Butt hurt. <laughs> that's, that's what people have been calling it, man. Sneeze up a profit. Yeah, no, Zeros, all the best. I don't think I'm really going to get much seizing value out of their deck anyway, because they're going to go really tall. So, I might just use these now. Ooh. That would have been even better. Gain vitality, All right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> That's the aim, man. Oh, it's looking really tall that unit back there. We still need some more profit again. Oh my goodness. It could very well be the deal of a lifetime. All right. Ah, oh, crap, I misclicked. I was supposed to click um that uh what do you call it? The one that creates a spender. Your boy's tired, man. But I'm still in this. You can't count me out, mate. <laughs> this has been a long day. Tavern Brawl? Yeah, straight up. That'd be great there. Actually, initially had um, Brawl in this list. But then when I optimized it, like this morning, just finishing it up, I changed some things around. So... If we use Morels on the 18, could that put us in a good spot? Even uh, this ain't bad. We'll get we'll get this down first. There's just one. Now they're looking for a way out. The eternal fire casts a long shadow. What if we do this? Come on, give me the clutch pass. Yes! Oh! Oh! 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was sweet, man. Nice timing, eh? <laughs> Talking about chicks. Oh, you guys are so freaking funny, dude. Can I get a Savola? Maybe I want to keep these now for some bleed action. Yo, we got a free bleed, man. You know what that means? I'm gonna take him, take him to the cleaners. I'm gonna take him for all, all they're worth. <laughs> Give me your best combos. You played Calvate. We want your best combos. That's it, that's it. It's no longer five head, it's ten head. Yep, good. So it's, it's worth to keep playing maybe because they give me very good cards. What can I get here? Yeah, catch you around. Thanks a lot for your time. Really appreciate it. Pleasure seeing you. Hope to catch you tomorrow. Give me your best combos in the universe. You must stop playing until I say. So far, we're trading bronzes for golds. Yes. Keep going. Yes. Yes. Guillaume. Keep going. Come closer. <laughs> Give us all you got. Yeah, pretty good, Ash. Nice to see you again, man. Thanks for your commitment to my stream, bro. <laughs> really? Yeah, we're doing good, man. I like these trades. They must be getting super frustrated. We're just tossing bronzes for golds. I love it. And we're just going to hold this. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa, yes! <laughs> oh, man. They must be so frustrated, dude. I swear. Are we happy with that? What's left? Maybe we've punished them enough. <laughs> Man, we got so many golds out, Dozen. Yeah. I think I'm passing there. <laughs> I can't believe they took Little Bird. No! Okay, they don't really have control though. <laughs> See, looking red. Oh. Is that gonna. Oh no! Do they have the tribute? Oh, it's very close. Luckily, they um they generate some some profit before they're able to cancel. So this needs grace eight. Ah, oh, we got a lot of things to reach for in deck though too. That's going to be an enemy unit. So what are we using him for? From each gang. Hope, hoping to get uh, Sephola with it? I don't know. Let's see, man. 
<laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> we got it, man. We don't have many tags. Oh crap. Fortunately, transformation robs them of speech. So we're over profiting now. Maybe I should have hit this first. This one now, maybe? Over-profiting, but whatever. Ah, oh, crap, it gave me that. Wait, do I want that? No. Maybe that? Oh my god, that was so clean. <laughs> okay, so take it. Sea Jackal? Probably best, right? That's such a big swing, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 